The story goes that Meghan Markle apparently literally took her own archetype Spotify interviews and decided to resell them without permission. As ever, what is the true story? Let me explain. Morning, how are you? Neil Sean here in the very heart of King's Cross, London, yes. Now what's interesting here for all dedicated fans, of course, if you are a fan of Harry Potter, you will know that this is a very important part of the story for all dedicated Harry Potter fans. The wonderful J.K. Rowling, of course, created so much magical mystery for so many generations of children and literally was inspired by coming in here directly from Edinburgh on her trips to meet publishers way back when she was simply starting out. Look how well that turned out. Will it turn out simply the very best, of course, for the ex-royal, otherwise known as Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex? Let me explain. You see, as we now know, basically Meghan has moved over to a brand new company, Lemonada. This company, apparently female-led, is exactly the sort of company that Meghan should have been with originally. You get the picture. Now, the reason behind this is, of course, she wants to relaunch herself once again after the disastrous, apparently her team claim, Spotify deal. But what's the true story? Did Meghan zip off with all those archetype interviews? Even some allegedly she didn't undertake herself. Apparently producers did that. Let me explain. The bottom line was that Spotify felt there was no need for them and more importantly they felt they'd exhausted every single thing. Having spent millions of pounds they didn't see how possibly anyone would want to revisit them. So they were very happy to relinquish all rights and give them back to the owner i.e. Meghan Markle or Archwell Productions, whichever you want to call it. Here's where it gets interesting because as we now know, they've just decided to reshoe them for those that weren't able to enjoy them the first time around. The bigger problem though for Meghan is this. As you may be aware, she's trying to relaunch herself once again as a podcaster and is looking for guests. As we've told you, this new deal with Lemonada is nothing along the scale of what was with Spotify. Spotify, you see, was incredible when you think, and they thought they were going to get a lot, including Prince Harry, but it never materialized. If, of course, Meghan is looking for guests, as we know she is, for her brand new Spotify deal, do not expect a mega, mega fee. I've been told by a very good source, and as ever we have to say allegedly, that the fee would be minimal, perhaps even expenses. It's the opportunity to be interviewed by Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and given her platform, just how many people would be hearing your story. I've had that personal experience myself with a lot of media over the years, one can imagine. But also, that doesn't pay the bills, does it? What is interesting though is this, while Meghan herself may not be offering fees for star guests, she herself is literally not going to be picking up a mega fee. I've been told that the share of the profits, that is the downloads, finally when people decide to download these brand new episodes, will form part of her deal. More importantly, of course, it will not just form part of her deal, but this will be the way that she gets paid. Let's just hope, though, that people want to revisit the repeats of Archetypes to see at least if she can make any money independently from her forthcoming podcasts. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.